Well, a new world order under Iran. Global leaders shudder at that thought, but the President Ahmadinejad isn't joking. He's calling on the world to break away from America's bullying and domination. Now, the world's waiting to hear what the Iranian president will say today when he addresses the UN Assembly in New York. And our National Bureau Chief David Aiken is there and joins us now. David, what's on tap for today? Well, we know that one thing we can report this just out, that the Canadian delegation to the UN won't be walking out on Ahmadinejad's speech because they're not even showing up. They're not going to be in the room when Ahmadinejad speaks. He's expected to speak uh, just before the lunch hour this morning. And as you mentioned, yes, he's going to sketch out his vision of a new world order. Lots of other delegations will be stepping out. Cruel coincidence, Iran's leader is going to speak today, of course, is the holiest of, of days for Jews around the world. It's Yom Kippur. And there, of course, we're going to hear certainly some anti-Semitic rants from Ahmadinejad. There is going to be a big protest just outside the UN. Iranian Americans, Iranian Canadians have come down here uh, to protest his presence here at the UN. I spoke with some of them yesterday, and they say they are proud of the decision that the Canadian government has made to sever diplomatic ties with Iran. It's been a controversial move to a degree. There's been a lot of talk about that, but Iranian Americans, Iranian Canadians know about this, and they like the idea. They say that is the way to go with Iran, to stand up to the mullahs. Notably, they also caution, now is not the time to start bombing Iran. They say support the Iranian opposition in Iran. That is the way to bring down the regime. In addition to Ahmadinejad, it's day of the madmen around here. In the afternoon, we're going to hear from Zimbabwe's Robert Mugabe. He gets his 15, 20 minutes of fame at the UN. We'll also hear from some less mad speakers. UK Prime Minister David Cameron is going to speak. Australia's Julia Gillard will speak. Uh, Japan's Prime Minister noted to speak. So those are some of the normal speakers, but certainly we'll be watching for Ahmadinejad this morning and Mugabe this afternoon. The tone was set, though, David, uh, yesterday with uh, President Obama's speech. Uh, what reaction have you had to that? Well, I think the reaction is uh, it, around New York City, people are looking at that speech in terms of the domestic scene, the, the election, obviously. Uh, Obama knows that Americans do not want to go to war in the Middle East again. We're just coming out of a decade of war here uh, after Iraq and Afghanistan. There's no public appetite to send American soldiers overseas to the Middle East again. But Obama also saying that, as, as uh, I think Alex mentioned, that we're not taking anything, any military options off the table, that there's still, as he said, time and space for diplomacy, but then his phrase was, that time is not unlimited. We're going to hear from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu tomorrow, and of course he's, he's trying to push the UN, the world, the US, towards a more hawkish approach to Iran. He wants to set red lines, and if Iran crosses those red lines, he expects some sort of military action. Now, the rest of the UN, the leaders here, are all saying diplomacy, diplomacy, diplomacy. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon yesterday saying that the, a military strike, a, a, uh, a unilateral strike, uh, is not something anyone should consider. And, of course, that he's referring to Israel there. He is calling on diplomatic leverage uh, to get Iran to live up to its international obligations. Just quickly, David, uh, uh, Stephen Harper, uh, what's he doing or what is Canada doing at the UN General Assembly? Uh, Minister Fantino was here yesterday. Uh, he'll be back tomorrow. Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird will be in town tomorrow. Stephen Harper will be here tomorrow, but he's not going to speak to the UN. He's here to get an award. He's going to be named Statesman of the Year. That's going to happen tomorrow night here in New York City. And then on Friday, Harper will meet with Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister. There's been a lot of kerfuffle because Netanyahu wanted to speak to Obama, but Obama, the White House says, doesn't yeah. have time on his schedule. David, thanks so much. All right, we'll talk to you again. That's our National Bureau Chief, David Aiken, live in New York.